everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori, if you're new here, and today we are going to be doing a what I eat in a day, but I am choosing all of my recipes for the day from the True Comfort cookbook. If you are new here, I have done videos about this cookbook before. I absolutely love it. It is dairy-free, and I believe it is gluten-free for most recipes, but it does contain meat, so I like to add different things to these recipes to make them my own. Do you want to hold the cookbook? Okay. So again, if you are new here, these collabs are done and hosted by the wonderful Tamara over at Southern Wife Everyday Life. And a bunch of us get together and cook from these cookbooks. We are trying to bring the books back, as they say, and we are sharing recipes with you from the cookbooks. So I will be linking the cookbook down in the description box below and you can find the recipes there. Or if you wanted to, you could even type them in on Pinterest or Google, and I'm sure you would find it something similar to those recipes. I will also link something similar to what I'm making today. So after you're done with my video, go ahead and check out the playlist if you have time. There are so many recipes being mm -hmm. shared, and I'm sure you will find some inspiration for your week ahead. And if you are excited, let's get right into this what I eat in a day. All right, for breakfast, we are making this shakshuka. I think that's how you say it. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I've seen it before, but we have adapted it to fit what we have in the kitchen and meats and things like that. So I'm going to use a can of chickpeas. I have some onions, calls for kale, but I only have peas and pea shoots and kale. I really like that salad blend. Then I have some bell peppers, and then it calls for six eggs, but I'm going to use a half a block of pressed firm tofu. And then it calls for rotel, but we only have salsa, so I'm gonna use some salsa and a fourth cup of coconut cream that is heaping over here. And then for spices, you need smoked paprika, chili powder, cumin, red pepper flakes, pepper, salt, and then some fresh garlic, and yeah. We're gonna put all of this in a cast iron skillet, save the tofu for the top, and just put it in the oven for around 40 minutes is what I'm seeing here, but I don't know how it would be for the eggs itself. So you, if you want the yolk still runny, you might wanna let it broil for like six minutes is what I'm reading here. So I'm just gonna put all of this together and I will show you what we serve these with. We are just gonna serve it with some tortillas or maybe even some chips, but this is going to be super delicious. Mm, okay. All right. Let me. We'll turn our heat on. All right, let's get some onions and bell peppers going. Onions and bell peppers. 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 Oh, so pretty. It smells so good. Oh man. I'm excited. Lid on. Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind. Let the flame burn down for a while. Let the frame burn out for a while. Stay in a moment. I just put my tofu in here, but our sweet neighbor has some chickens and she gave us these eggs. So, um,. What you would do normally is crack these eggs in and just leave them, don't stir them in, and then put them in the oven at 400 for like eight to 10 minutes. And then if you wanted some runny eggs is what I'm understanding, it would be like six minutes or so. So we're gonna leave the eggs out, but if you wanted to add eggs, that's how you would do it. Uh, 
I am out here with half of my hair curled and the other half not because someone needed to go outside, which I don't mind. But that is why I am looking like this. We are about to head in and make some lunch and I will show you what we are choosing from the recipe book. Hey. Are you excited? Uh -huh. Yeah. Can you say hi? Hey. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Wilder Wilder. Wilder, yes. Are you ready for lunch? Uh -huh. Okay. Can I have a kiss? Mm -hmm. Sweet boy. <laughs> Hello. I love you. Won't you tell me your name? <laughs> Alrighty, for lunch we are going to have the Big Mac salad out of the recipe cookbook. This is pretty straightforward and really easy and quick. So what I'm going to do is lay everything on a bed of romaine lettuce. I like to chop this up with some salad shears. I'll show you how to do that. Pretty simple. And then on top of that, you're going to put some tomato, pickle, and white onion. And then it calls for ground beef with Worcestershire sauce. And I don't have any of my vegan Worcestershire sauce. Um, the one that I have has anchovies in it. And I obviously don't use ground beef. So I'm just using the Target brand um, burger patty. And then I cut it up into fine pieces to make it look like that. And then for your dressing, it's just a thousand island. So you're going to need some yellow mustard, ketchup, vegan mayo, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and then you're gonna splash in some red wine vinegar. And that is it. It calls to top it with sesame seeds. I'm assuming because the bun of a Big Mac has sesame seeds, but I'm not gonna do that. I only have black sesame seeds. So let me just show you how to put this one together. This one is probably the easiest one in that cookbook. It's very, very, quick to put together and I have this quite frequently. and here it is all put together. You're welcome to add some avocado to this or croutons or some sharp cheddar cheese would be really good, but I am just gonna eat it just like this. I'll probably add hemp seeds just for some added nutrition, but this is lunch, super delicious, toddler approved, and we are going to have some apples with peanut butter as well. We actually had so much breakfast left over, we ended up just having the snack for dinner, but they are both out of the cookbook. So over here we have an heirloom tomato, and that is supposed to be stuffed with a crab salad. But if you saw in my last video, I substituted crab salad for tofu. So it's just tofu shredded in a cheese grater, and then there's vegan mayo, sriracha, green onion, and then on top I have some avocado, green onion, smoked sea salt, garlic, and black pepper, and this was super filling. I did serve it with this cucumber and dill salad, so it calls for shallots, but I just used white onion. So I have cucumbers, fresh dill, white onion, vinegar, mayo, Dijon mustard, and some salt and pepper, and this was super tasty. I, of course, needed some dessert, so I'm going to show you how I made that, but we had so much left over from breakfast, I ended up just snacking on this and having leftovers of our shushuka, or however you pronounce that, and then I ended the night with some really delicious dairy-free ice cream. Here are the ingredients for the ice cream. You can make this however you want, but I'm gonna do a tablespoon of peanut butter, a full can of coconut milk with the fat. You're going to need some vanilla and maple syrup, as well as some dark chocolate chips. You're gonna put that in a high-speed blender, and then you're just going to freeze it for five hours or overnight, and then serve it like you normally would your regular ice cream.
that is going to do it for today's video we are winding down from dinner reading some more recipes from true comfort and if you haven't already go ahead and click that playlist link and you will find some amazing recipes head on over to Tamara's channel and check out her content if you are new here hi hello we are so happy that you are here if you want to stick with us and see some recipe videos healthy living and some beautiful colorado scenery we would love to have you as part of our youtube family as always stay adventurous stay creative what do we say bye bye, bye.